to my channel. So this video is going to be all about how I do a clay mask. And a lot of you guys don't know, but that is my ultimate reboot, okay? So if my hair is going through a lot of product buildup, this is what I do. If I'm just now taking out a protective style or before I put a protective style in, this is what I do before I blow dry my hair, this is what I do because you wanna make sure that your hair is cleansed. If your hair has a lot of product buildup on it, that can cause some damage because you have all these products and these chemicals and when heat is combined with that, sometimes that makes a very bad reaction. So make sure you're really cleansing your hair before you're using any type of heat, stu heat tools any type of like blow drying or straightening or anything like that. And this is just something that I like to do. It's like a refresher, reboot type of situation. So if you guys don't know what bentonite clay is, this is the Aztec clay that I use. This one is old. It's the Indian Healing Clay. I get it from Amazon. I'll put it in the description bar below so that you guys can check it out and get some for yourself. But I'm almost out, so I'm honestly... It's actually a lot. I was going to use it all. I think I'm still going to use it all. When I do my Aztec clay, I always use apple cider vinegar. I do not use water. It just does not do it. And apple cider vinegar balances the pH in your hair. And I do apple cider vinegar rinses too as a reboot, but this is a super recharge, okay? So if you don't have time to do the app, um, to do the clay mask, I highly recommend you just doing an apple cider vinegar rinse. And I normally use the Bragg's one, the one with the mother, but um, this was already in my house, so I'm like, I, I need to use this. This is my first time using this one. I always use the Bragg's one. I'm going to put it right here so that you guys know exactly which one to pick up. But um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use this um, great value, okay? I think it's going to be fine. It's not as good as the Bragg's because, of course, it has more goodness and more nutrients than that one. But, you know, sometimes you just got to make it work. So to start this process, you want to start off with wet hair. You do not want to do this on damp hair or anything like that because you're going to actually end up using more products. So make sure you go and wet your hair. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head in the shower, wet my hair, and then I'm going to come back, and then we're going to start adding this clay on. So I will be right back. Alright, so my hair is all wet. Had to grab me one of my kombuchas. <laughs> this is a little cute little mini one. This is the mixed berries. Replace coffee with this. Okay, so just put some clips on here to keep this up, but my hair is what? Okay. My wrapper my wrap So I got my mixing bowl together and I'm gonna just put some Aztec clay inside of it. And on myself. It's great. It's great. Great start. So I'm just gonna add apple cider vinegar to it. And it should fuzz up as if you're doing like a volcano experiment. Okay, maybe not that bad, but you should see a few bubbles. What's that? Y'all hear the sizzle? Okay. And since I'm putting this on my hair, I want it to be runny. I just used this little plastic spatula because you cannot use metal with this. Make sure you don't have any metals when you're trying to do this. See? This is a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is keep mixing these together, adding more apple cider vinegar or more clay if I need it. Just so I can get the right consistency. Because if it's too thick, it's going to be very hard to apply and all that good stuff. But, of course, you can get it to your liking. It's not a particular measurement. Just whatever measurement you like to do. I'm going to go ahead and take this down. Be sure to not cleanse your hair before um, doing this. You want to basically start off with this because this is to cleanse your hair. So um, you don't want to do too much stripping. So I would definitely not shampoo if you're doing the clay mask. This needs to be your replacement. You want to work in sections. Of course, we always, always work in sections. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of this clay to my hand. Just go ahead and apply it. All 
right? And now when you have it all saturated to the point like this, you're pretty good to go. It looks like every strand is coated. If you want to add some more, definitely add some more. Like, ain't nobody here to judge you. Add as much as you want, but you don't need a lot. But you know how we do. I want to make sure I use all this up because it's time to buy some more. <laughs> so, there you go. And then just continue doing this throughout the, your entire head. And just make sure you're actually getting it in there. Because I know this can be messy, but you really want to make sure you coat all of your hair with this product. Because it is going to cleanse your hair. It is going to give your hair a reboot. So, But definitely take your time. Make sure you're working this in. Even on your roots. Because it's, it's definitely good for your roots as well. But it's not going to strip your hair. Like, it is going to get hard. Um, and that's how you know to take it out. But this does not, like, have your hair feeling dry. I'm just going to continue doing this. And I'm going to let you guys watch. But um, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> getting longer took more more of that clay than a thought it's okay though it's okay so this is what it looks like okay so I'm gonna let this sit on my hair until it gets hard and then we're gonna rinse it out I'm gonna show you guys what my hair is looking like but you can already see like it definitely shows off every single curl like if we could get a gel that did the same effect as this clay we'll be in there we'll be in there but um yeah guys so what i'm gonna do like i said let this sit in my hair and then i'll show you guys what it looks like after i wash it out okay guys so i've rinsed out that clay and as you guys can see my hair is definitely cleansed it is popping it looks good and um i don't know if you guys noticed in my last video um the color I had did some spray dye type of situation and the color did not come out when I shampooed it but it's out now so I feel like my hair color is back and popping and, and, and black or whatever so yeah guys if you need a reboot for your hair if your hair just a little funky you don't know what to do and you're like where my curls been I ain't got no heat damage but they look a little wonky wonky go ahead and pick up this clay mask I said like I said I'll link it below 
Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!